Hi, and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're doing an electromagnetic crane project. This is a fantastic project idea for your more advanced STEM students in middle and high school. So this is a picture of the different supplies that we're going to be using to build this project. And here's an example of our electromagnet crane at work. So this is what we're going to be building today using mostly recycled materials. And there we go. So that's what we're gonna build and that's how it's gonna work. So we're gonna start, we're gonna use a Pringles can and a box cutter. And we're just gonna cut that metal lip off of the top there. Then we're gonna measure about five centimeters down all the way around the tube. And then we're gonna use these marks to cut off a five centimeter ring from the tube. Again, using our box cutter. Be very careful whenever you're using a box cutter. These are older students, they'll be doing this project, so they should be pretty safe. So here we have, we're just gonna trace onto cardboard. Now this image is available on steampoweredfamily.com, so you can cut out all of your cardboard pieces that we're using for our build. So there we go, and then those are the two circles that we just did. So we're going to start by putting together the base and we're just going to use a glue gun and glue all the sides here onto the bottom and build out that base of the crane. Go, just putting glue around all the edges and sliding them into place. So that's the base done. Now we're gonna make a little drawer. This is where our battery is going to sit inside of the base and it's gonna be powered by a nine volt battery. One thing to note is that we're gluing onto the sides to make the drawer. This just helps give it a better fit with our measurements. There we go. So we've got a nice little box. So now we're going to make a little tiny template we're gonna draw a three centimeter line and then we're gonna use the end of our straw to make a little circle at each end of the line. And this is just a quick and easy way to make a little template for the slot that we need for our uh, lever in our crane so we can move it around. So we're just gonna cut that out. There we go. So it's kind of a little pill shaped. Now we're gonna go five centimeters down and make little marks and then we're going to find the middle points on both sides of a toilet roll tube. There we go and then we're going to position that right in the middle, trace it on and we're going to do this on both sides. There we go and we're just going to cut that out really carefully. I know some toilet roll tubes nowadays are very thin. You're going to want to try and find one that's a little thicker just so you have a bit more stability when you're cutting it. There we go. So now measure seven centimeters down on your straw. You do not need to use a plastic straw. You can use a paper straw for this. And we're just using a toothpick to make a hole at the seven centimeter mark. And we're gonna do seven and a half centimeters at the other end, and we're gonna make it just on one side, a hole with a skewer. So it's gonna be a slightly bigger hole for that one. Now find the halfway marks and make your paper pencil marks there. And then we're gonna measure and then add little holes again using our toothpick. Now we have all our wire, and this is where we're actually making the electromagnet. So we're going to take the piece of cardboard and pu push the screw all the way through. If you hold the cardboard carefully, it helps prevent it from tearing while you're doing this. And you're gonna leave a little bit out the top. Now feed the wire through the corrugated cardboard. You can see we're measuring out 30 centimeters here and then we're measuring 20. So we've got 50 centimeters of wire there. And then start wrapping. You wanna wrap really tightly and very close together. You don't want any gaps in the wire, in those coils of the wire, I should say. 
So make sure it's nice and tight. Use your fingers to push it down and get it really nice and snug around the screw there. And then we're gonna go back over it again and we're gonna do this four times. So we're just gonna keep going back and forth over the screw here and we're gonna put four layers of the wire. So there's a picture in the top right corner showing what the final product is gonna look like. See how nice and tight those wires are together. And then feed the other end back through like that. So you've got the two loose ends coming out of the bottom. We're gonna twist those together. There you go. Now measure and snip them so they're the same length. And then take that extra wire and we're going to feed it through our straw. There we go. And now this is the wire that's attached to my screw that we're just attaching on the end there. There we go. And then you can feed it all the way through there, through into our straw. And then we take the extra wire off. And now we've got our toilet roll tube out again. Just make sure that holes are nicely lined up there in the straw. We're gonna feed that through those slots and then feed the wires through and out the bottom of the tube. There we go, so that's what that part's gonna look like. Now, very carefully take your toothpick, feed it through the toilet roll tube, through the straw, and back out the other side. There you go, see how our lever's gonna work? And you want to make sure that your uh, wire is hanging down a little bit there. There we go, we're just gonna make a little mark there, so we want seven centimeters sticking out of the end. Now this is just a little piece of cardboard and we're using that as a stopper to hold everything in place. So just a little bit of rolled up cardboard we're sticking in the end of the straw. So on the end without the wire, you can add a little bit of glue and put it in place. You don't wanna get glue on the wire because it will interrupt our circuit. And now we're just adding a big bead on the end for our, and this is gonna be our handle and the bead just kind of helps it make it look a little cooler. Go, and now we've got some little pony beads and we're just gonna trim the ends of that toothpick and then add the pony beads just to make it look nice. And there we go. So now we've got our base in the drawer we're going to take this bead and we're going to glue it to the front of the drawer. So that's going to our little drawer handle. So we need that for opening up the drawer for getting the battery in and out. So measure in seven centimeters. Go. And you'll see that that takes us to just past where the drawer ends. And we're just going to put a little piece of cardboard in there. And this helps prevent the drawer from going too far into the uh, base. Last thing we want to do is push our drawer in and have it disappear. So it's like a little drawer stop there. So now we're just going to put a little skewer through. And that's going to give us a little hole because we're going to need to feed our wires through into that drawer to attach it to the battery. So take that circle of the Pringles tube and we're going to glue that into the middle of our base. You can just eyeball this, but try and get it as centered as possible. If you want to, you can do measurements to make sure that it's perfectly centered. It's completely up to you. Now we've got just half of the corrugated cardboard here and we've got a strip that we're going to loosely place around the Pringles tube. You want this to be able to turn and move this is how we're going to be moving our crane. So put a little pencil mark there, glue it into place. Go, and then add a little bit of glue at the other side, just to make it all nice and neat. And again, this should move loosely and spin easily around the Pringles tube. So grab a couple of elastics just to help hold it into place. There we go. Look at how it nicely spins, perfect. Now we're just gonna put that lid on. 
But first we're going to mark the middle of the circle. And using that big skewer, we're going to make a hole. Go feed the wires through that hole. Go. Now, very carefully mark around the bottom of that toilet roll. Make sure it's nicely centered. And now put the glue on. Do not get any glue on the wires. So if you need, you might need to have a second set of hands to help with this step. Just be really careful not to get any glue on those wires because it will interrupt our circuit. And there we go. We'll set that to the side. Now we're just going to measure here, measuring four centimeters in, and then six and a half centimeters. There we go. And we're just going to find the little mark there and make a hole inside. So again, this is where we're going to be feeding the wires down and through into the base where they will connect with our battery. There you go. So you can kind of see how it's all coming together now, if you remember what the original uh, crane looked like that we demonstrated at the beginning. Now we're gluing onto the spinning cardboard, not onto the Pringles can. This is the spinning cardboard piece. There we go. See how it nicely spins? So now we can move it around. We're going to add the cap at the top. There we go, making it all look nice. And you can see we also added some paper tape to our base just to help clean up the edges. Now we're just measuring in and we're going to put our uh, switch on the thing. So measure the size of your switch. And then we're going to measure out where we're going to put that here on the corner. There we go. So that's the size of our switch. We want to just check it there make sure it's going to fit nice and snug and then cut out a slot for us to add that switch. And the switch is very important because with an electromagnet, we want to be able to turn it on and off. When it's on and the current is going through, that's when it's going to be magnetized and picking up pieces. As soon as you turn it off, it'll drop all of the pieces. So now we're taking our nine volt battery and the wires. We've just attached a, uh, the wire cap there. And we've got our wires coming through the hole in the side. And if we put the drawer in place, you can see how it's all going to fit together there. We're just adding a little bit of glue here just to reinforce uh, the top here because ours was a little loose. There we go. Let's pop that out for a minute, our switch. Now, this is where we need to start working on our circuit and our wiring. So we're just going to strip the ends of the wires just about a centimeter. Be really careful you don't break any of the wires when you do this. And we're going to feed those through there. Because those are going to be attached to our switch. Now we're going to be doing this with a uh, soldering iron. You can do this with electrical tape if you don't have a soldering iron. However, your more advanced students may enjoy the challenge of learning how to work with a soldering iron. So we're going to attach these wires to our switch. So this is the white wire is from our um, screw where we wrapped it all around and the red wire is from our battery. So we're adding a little bit of solder. We're uh, pre-treating them there. And then we're just going to add them on to our switch. There we go, soldering those on. And remember the red one here is from the battery. Go add a little solder there. Just makes it a little easier when you're doing the soldering work. And you can get these soldering kits very inexpensively from Amazon. We do have a link on the article if you wanted to grab one. It is hot, so you just want to be careful, but your older students should be up for the challenge with the proper supervision and uh, training. So there we go. We're just going to put that switch into place and it should fit nice and snug. There we go. So you want to make sure it's in the off position. We don't want our crane to suddenly start working as we're trying to solder everything together here. So now we're going to do the other side. And we've got a little bit of heat shrink here and we're going to put that on the wire. If you don't have heat shrink, again, you can use electrical tape for this step as well. So 
for all of this. If you don't have the heat shrink, if you don't have the soldering tools, you can use the electrical tape. And we do explain in the article how to do that. So we're just going to solder those together. And then grab that heat shrink, bring it up over the join point, and then using a lighter, you're just going to heat it up and it's just going to shrink into place. And again, you can use electrical tape if you prefer, it does the same thing. So there we go, we're just going to test it. You always want to test your circuits. Turn it off and the falls, perfect. So now we're going to put the base on here. Just using the glue gun, we're going to glue that into place. And then once you've got it all glued together, you can go ahead and paint it and decorate it and make your electromagnetic crane perfect for you. So let's see it at work here. So we turn on the circuit and it becomes magnetized and picks up our pieces. As soon as we turn it off, those pieces will drop. I hope you enjoyed building your electromagnetic crane. If you want more STEM ideas, visit steampoweredfamily.com and learn more about how you can bring STEM to your classroom. Have a great day. Bye for now.